ancient alchemy, red mercury, gold, garlic, and a mirror, so let's talk about it. Red mercury and gold, is it the key element behind the ancient technology of these advanced architecture? As we can see here, red mercury is repelled by garlic and attracted by gold magnetically. When a mirror is placed beside it, colorless in the mirror, it has no reflection, it gives off free energy, overheats the metals that it comes in contact with. Many electronic valve devices have RM ampules found in the throat of the ancient Egyptian mummies, so it has healing prosperities, it has health benefits. Is it vampire blood? Well no, it's red mercury. The whole vampire blood repelled by garlic and them having no reflection makes a little bit more sense now. So we know these ancients used red mercury, gold, copper, and iron. So if we have copper and iron in our blood, is it possible that these controllers have red mercury or some blood magic with alchemy? It has many uses and generates a power field on its own. It could have been used to power the ether, plasma devices, generators, power sources, frequency boosters. But let's talk a little bit more about how it's extracted. So cinnabar ore is crushed and heated to release the mercury as a vapor. The mercury vapor is then cooled, condensed, and collected. And according to the narrative, they use the red mercury for a nuclear war. Well, of course they used it for evil because that's what they're known for doing. And at the same time, they say these experiments that are conducted are hoax. The further back we go, the more advanced these people were. I mean, they were true alchemists, but of course our knowledge was erased and forgotten. There's other experiments conducted with mercury using it as a signal booster, receiver, and transmitter. So it's possible they used it as part of the airship power as well as the electric vehicles and possibly the wireless trolley cars that they had. So next I'm going to be looking into groups of people, including the Vatican, and see the relationship that they have with red mercury. It might be hard, but let's take a journey into the past and see what groups of people are associated with Red Mercury. As well as the controllers' homes, castles, and palaces that they currently own today, let's look at the top of these buildings and also pictures of the inside of these homes. Let's see what they've been up to all along. <laughs> 